I love the center, but they always think they're right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and a lot of times they are. <laughs> a lot of times we are, too. <laughs> That's right. The budget battle will soon shift to the Senate. Members there are working to add $10 billion to their original propos proposal. Hear what our newsmakers have to say about that challenge. Their entire debate is new online at KXAN.com. And while you're surfing, click on the On Politics tab at the top. You'll head straight to our special political site where you can check out our latest coverage, previously broadcast session 11 programs and blogs. And this morning, our On Politics poll asks, do you think the House will dip into the rainy day fund in the 2012-2013 budget? Well, 70% of our viewers said yes, Robert. Josh, thanks. Well, finally, it's one of those words nearly everyone used to use decades ago, but now in state government, the R word could soon disappear. The Texas Tribune reports that on Wednesday, the House voted to eliminate the use of the word retarded from state statutes. Under the bill sponsored by Republican Representative Vicki Truitt of Keller, the government code would would change the land language from mentally retarded to person with intellectual disability. Cripple becomes person with disabilities. The bill passed without controversy, even a few cheers in the gallery. Representative Truitt told the Tribune the law puts the person before the disability at no cost to the state. Doing the right thing without spending tax money, well, it doesn't get any better than that. Join David Scott for our next newscast on KXAN coming up here at 5, right after the Shell Houston Open. Up next on KXAN, meet the press. Thank you.